Hi, I'm Nicholas Gordon and I'm the CTO of PowerCurve. And in this video I'm going to talk about gurney flaps and how we can use them to improve wind turbine performance. This is a picture of a typical gurney flap and normally it consists of a broadly right angled piece of plastic that's attached to the pressure surface on the trailing edge of a wind turbine blade. Now the gurney flap has actually been around for a very long time. They were first introduced in the 1970s in IndyCar racing and they are named after inventor Dan Gurney, who was a driver and team owner. And basically what he found was by putting these small L-shaped bits of plastic on the back of his rear wings, he got a lot more downforce for very little drag penalty. And that's exactly what we're trying to do on the wind turbine. We're trying to boost lift for a little to no drag penalty. So why do we need gurney flaps? Well, aerodynamic theory tells us that there's a consistent level of lift that we require along the length of the blade to get optimum power output. Now, on the outboard part of the blade where we have thin aerofoils, this is quite easy for the designer to achieve. The problem comes as we get close to the root because there we have thick aerofoils for structural purposes and due to their steep curvatures, they typically exhibit a lot of stall or separation. And that means the designer cannot achieve the amount of lift that they actually require to satisfy the aerodynamic theory. So what this tells us is that if we can increase lift in the root region of the blade, we'll get more power. And that's exactly what we want to achieve with our gurney flap. So how does a gurney flap work? Well, it sits on the trailing edge of the aerofoil. And what that means is it deflects the streamline traveling around the pressure surface of the aerofoil. And this deflection of the streamline means it's actually mimicking the effect of an aerofoil with more camber. And an aerofoil with more camber gives more lift the same angle of attack. To optimise the performance of our gurney flaps, Power Curve uses computational fluid dynamics or CFD. And what this tool allows us to do is look in very close detail at the three-dimensional flow patterns in the root of the blade. And by analysing the flow carefully and modelling the gurney flaps within the simulation, we can optimise the positioning and the size to best suit every wind turbine blade we look at. Power curve gurney flaps are optimised to produce the maximum amount of lift for the minimum amount of drag. And this is carried out using our CFD tools, our blade element momentum tools and our library of wind tunnel test data. So we can give you the very best performance possible.